So I just decided that I was gonna film, so I just got out of the shower. I look a little bit crazy, but yeah. I mean, I guess it's like a real day in my life. <laughs> I know I haven't shown you guys anything around the house, but there is a reason for that. Honestly, not done yet. I've gotten like a few pieces. Like there's not too much to show, but if you guys do want like an update on the house, then go ahead and comment down below and I'll do a video for you guys. I'm having a hard time trying to picture things and like how they work together. I've already gone through like three rugs. I just kind of like need to figure it out. I've gotten rid of like a lot of old home decor pieces that we had that just like cluttered up the space so while i was away i got my package from dossier i love their perfume they're very similar to these really super expensive perfumes and they last and smell so amazing guys i'm so excited to show you guys the ones that i got i got four of them so let's open them gosh this, this box smells so good this is it this is basically what it looks like so it comes with a tester for you to like try out before you actually like open this bottle so if you don't like it you could easily return it next one is fruity jasmine i mean i this one is already like my fave so i already know this one is super good this one is inspired by the dior j'adore perfume this one is my favorite so i had to get another because i use it so often i run out of them so quick all right so we're in my office now i went ahead and placed my hair into a bun and then also wash my hands because we're gonna start placing some orders so basically what i like to do is i like to come on to here and i like to print out my packing slips first and then what i like to do after is I like to separate them in two different piles one for boxes and then one for bubble mailers It just makes the packaging process a little bit more easier while they print I'm just gonna make a few boxes because I know I'm gonna need some of these boxes Here are all of the orders and now I'm just gonna separate them I need to get into it, but I just feel like with TikTok, you have to have a certain niche to really do well on TikTok. And me, like, I struggle with, like, trying to find my niche so bad. Even here on YouTube, I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. And so it's just, I like, I don't know. I feel like doing influencer tips would be really fun or like little day in my lives but honestly i can never make them like aesthetically pleasing like how the other girls do them and so i kind of suck at that don't know what kind of content i would want to post on tiktok that would do really well i was thinking maybe like business tip but i don't, I don't know i don't know give me some ideas like do you guys have like a tiktok or what do you guys do because i need to get on tiktok i'm also thinking about making a whole new tiktok account for karache i heard that like it's just a lot easier to grow on that because the algorithm kind of learns that you're oh like you're a business and you're like a small business or like you're a lip gloss business and basically puts you in front of that audience rather than like me using my current account and trying to build off of that because then you're kind of confusing the algorithm i think so i really want to get into that and i'll just like repost all of like my videos that i already have so i don't really have to put that much work into it so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those and show you guys how i package my orders so basically what i like to do is after i'm done separating them and preparing the boxes and everything i like to head and just fill them up all with peanuts and then i grab a basket and i get all of the products and i put them into the basket so it's a lot easier for me so i don't have to go back and forth and then i place them into the boxes i'm not going to do that on camera because i'm actually going to make a ig reel for my business page for that so i'm gonna need the tripod that you guys are on and then i just put the packing slips in there and then i tape them up i weigh them and also put the order number on top so that i know which order it is and for my bubble millers i do the exact same thing but for the working vibe i'm gonna go ahead and package one order for you guys on camera so this girl she ordered dusk and 2 a.m so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those all right so I got my box. 
And then I'm gonna put my packing peanuts in there. Place my products. Grab your thank you cards. I actually need to get some new ones. I wanna design some new ones. I'm running out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place the order number in the front. And then I basically already know what this is gonna weigh out to because it's usually the same depending on how many people, how many products that people order. So I already know how much this one's gonna be. And then I'll just hold this up, lay it on top. And yeah, that's basically it. That's all I do. And then after I'm done packaging them all up, I'll go ahead and select all of the ones that I have and then print out the shipping labels for them and then slap them on. And that's it. All right, so we have our bubble mailers and our thank you cards. Now let's start packaging them. Wow guys, look at this, my first Japan order. This is so crazy. Thank you so much for whoever ordered this. Okay, so I just realized I didn't even show you guys what I sell. So let me just give you guys a little rundown. So basically I do wholesale and private label cosmetics. So if you wanna start your own cosmetic line, then I would be your supplier or vendor. For my wholesale, I have lip gloss and matte lipsticks in these jars. So this is really good if you have your own tubes and you wanna fill them up yourself. I like love these lip glosses because they are so hydrating and they're also really pigmented and like the shimmery ones come out like really really shimmery. And this one is my matte lipstick jar. It's called Rodeo. I love 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 this color. And then for my private label stuff I have matte lipstick. So the difference with wholesale and a private label is that wholesale you just get the product and then you fill it up yourself. And then for a private label you get the tube, the product in the tube, and then also your logo on it included with packaging so you can get boxes with your brand printed on them and it's so cute so professional these ones are the tubes that i have i love these square tubes they are so so cute like so cute and then i also have these ones as well i think i'm going to add a matte lipsticks for these because they're just so cute i love these and they also come with the box packaging and like i said you can get your logo onto the tube and the box and then i also do custom eyeshadow palettes and what comes like this it has the ingredients in the back also vegan and cruelty free you are able to get your logo right here on here and then also on the front of the actual palette and so it is free logo printing free packaging and free shipping within the u.s so such a great deal you don't have to worry about that super cute i made this one so i could just do like demos and samples super pigmented as well i'll just go ahead and swatch a shade for you guys really quickly like look at that that is just me just rubbing it and this, yeah so so pretty so pigmented look at that oh the light is kind of getting onto it but you guys see what i'm getting into and then i also have these face palettes they come in three different shades i love this brown one i chose to do bronzer for this so cute love these shades and they feel like velvet like they are so so soft you're able to make like highlighters blush bronzers you can do one of each for one palette again if you guys are interested then check out my website it's going to be linked down below and also follow karashi cosmetics on instagram all right guys so now we're gonna go to the UPS and drop these packages off. I recently just watched this um, YouTube video, or was it a YouTube video? I don't remember. I watched this video and they were just kind of talking about like how much food we actually waste 
and not like purposefully but it's basically like we it just goes bad really fast like veggies and things like that and so it's kind of crazy when I'm at the store and I look at our grocery cart and I'm like thinking at least a third of this is gonna go to waste like I'm not going to eat it or I'm not gonna be able to eat it in time and basically we're just throwing money away because every time that we go grocery shopping I clear out our pantry and also our refrigerator and it just makes me so sad to see like so much food going to waste and so I just wanted to be come more mindful on the things that I spend and it's like I don't really need a boba because I actually have this non-alcoholic drink it's so good so refreshing for the summer if you guys want the recipe I actually have it on my Instagram it's um, the post with a moss a mass botanics and it's so good it's really simple and easy as well and it's non-alcoholic so you guys can actually like anyone can drink it and I love that drink it's just with like lemon lemon juice simple syrup and ginger ale and it's just so amazing I have no words like it is so so good but it's like I can just go home and make me a drink if I don't feel like drinking tea or juice but instead I like I want boba <laughs> but I'm not gonna get boba okay so of course today like every single time I come to UPS to drop off packages I always get like the front like couple spots and I was like okay that's gonna be perfect I can flip over my camera and they'll show me like going to UPS and everything well there's no parking spots so I think I'm gonna still do it but like it's gonna be weird because you guys won't like see me go into like UPS you know so yeah <laughs> so I'm back home now I am so so hungry but i actually forgot that i was going to make some beans i know that sounds like really weird but like i love like crock pot beans with some green chili and like make tostadas but i did not leave the beans out last night to soak so now i'm just kind of like figuring out what i really want to eat but this is what i was telling you guys about this is the super good drink. I'm about to make me a drink and probably find something to eat. So yeah, that's basically all for my work day. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Again, comment down below some video ideas that you want to see from me. It could be literally anything. Like, let's try anything like i'm down for whatever <laughs> so leave me a comment like this video for the algorithm subscribe follow me on instagram follow my business page on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye